All right, I want to show you show you a quick video on how to create a pumpkin like this uh, in Autodesk. So the first thing you need to do is go up and create a new part file and a new sketch on any any of the planes. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're gonna we're gonna use some tools we haven't used before. Um, things like uh, trim and loft and arc. There's actually quite a bit of them. Um, but the idea here is we're going to create a rib of the pumpkin, the, the, the vertical bumps along the pumpkin here. So we create one and we, we, uh, we're going to also use revolve to uh, create multiples. So we need to go up to the arc command, um, the very first one, the three point arc. So what you want to do is kind of come out here and there's no real dimensioning to these lines, um, but what you want to do is almost do like an outline of half of a pumpkin. So I'm going to come out here. And maybe up here, come out another one. You just keep creating these arcs. And notice that I have to identify the first point, the starting point, and then I create the ending point, and then I put my mouse at about where I want the arc to be, uh, like what size of a diameter I want it to be. And then we'll come in here. I'll end it right on that same y-axis. And we'll click somewhere about right here and once you've done that you need to add what we call work points so while we're still in this sketch uh, click on point and what you need to do is everywhere you've clicked to start and end your your arcs you need to click and add work points so if you go along here you can kind of see if you move your mouse along here where your green dot appears um, you can actually see the end of the black line for each arc. So if you kind of hover over the green line, you'll see it highlight in black a little bit so you know where your endpoints are. And there. So notice each of these work points. Uh, when you're done with the work points, you'll hit finish. Now we need to create a bunch of uh, work planes, um, sketching planes that we can sketch ellipses on. So uh, to do that just click on plane, the icon for plane, and you'll do this a bunch of times. You'll click on those uh, work points we created, and let me try that again. Click on plane, I'll go up to this one, click on the dot, and then all you have to do is you click on the work point, and then you click on the line that you were sketched on. You have to go back up, click on the work point or work plane, come down here, click on the point on the line. You'll do that for each point. Point, line, point, line. Looks like we should actually have a, a plane already created for that first point. So uh, once you've got your planes created, you want to create a sketch on each of those planes. So to get that first one, I'm actually going to have to um, spin it around a little bit so I can see. And with this recording, it's actually taking a little longer to spin my screen. There we go. So I, I clicked on Create 2D Sketch, and then I'm working on this, this plane. It's not being shown, but it's my YZ plane, uh, one of the origin planes. Uh, once I do that, I need to click on ellipse up here. I will click on the center 
of that sketch. Uh, and then from there, you just kind of come out a little ways. Um, it's nothing exact, there's no exact science here, but once you click that, that axis, that, that major axis, they call it, um, you'll be given the opportunity to create this ellipse. So you just want to create somewhat of an ellipse. There's, again, no exact science here. Once you create the ellipse, you have to keep doing that. So you're going to finish your sketch, and you're going to go back and create another 2D sketch on this new surface. So maybe I'll go out here. Make them look somewhat similar to each other. Okay, create another 2D sketch. Here's where I like to use the three-dimensional view. Get an, another ellipse going. Always try and make those first axes about the same direction. So I'm going to hit escape, redo my ellipse. Out a little bit bigger. Create another 2D sketch on this surface. Lips. Oh, I'm on a major axis. And you'll do this for the remaining planes that you created. Okay, so we've created all of our ellipses in the view here. Now what we need to do is, uh, it's this new tool we haven't seen either called Loft. So instead of extruding, we're going to Loft. And what Loft does is takes one sketch and connects it to the next sketch um, in a nice smooth transition. So once you click Loft, you need to come over to Sections and hit Click to Add. And you will select your very first ellipse. Notice it's highlighted. And then you always go click to add. Select another sketch once it's highlighted. Click to add another one. And as you do it, you're going to start seeing that smooth loft from sketch to sketch. And then hit OK when you've gone start to finish. And what we're looking at here, if I can get it rotated around, is one rib of our pumpkin. So if you imagine, um, the next thing we got to do is create an axis. And we're going to connect those dots from, oh, let me start that over. from center point to center point. We will then create um, a revolve. Um, it's called a circular pattern. So what I can do is I can say, I'm going to take this feature that I just created. So you select that feature. And uh, we're going to rotate it about this axis. So select uh, that arrow that says rotation axis. And go ahead and select that axis we just created. Now when you do that, if you zoom out, you can see uh, over here, we have six patterns. If you count the number of green spots, there should be a total of six uh, ribs on this thing. We want to do more like maybe 15. Uh, let's do 
maybe 18. Somewhere between 15 and 20 is usually a good number. Um, so hit OK and let it run its course. go ahead and let it run its course here. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so once you get that to revolve, uh, it took me a second here, but I also went up and changed the part color to orange uh, before I started recording again. So what you need to do from there is create a work plane to cut your face into your pumpkin. So uh, just click on plane and then go to this, uh, any of these, most likely your YZ. If you click the YZ plane and uh, click and drag the actual plane, you'll see the, the, the plane itself, you can see where it's at in, in accordance to the pumpkin here. Um, you want to move that away from the pumpkin far enough that it's, it's completely outside of where the pumpkin is. So um, with that, you just hit the check mark and you'll create a 2D sketch on here. Um, what I want to show you is um, I already created the work plane and um, so I'm actually going back to um, a previous version of this pumpkin to show you this. Once you create the work plane, um, you'll actually create a 2D sketch on this surface. You'll create your shapes, your triangles, your face, whatever you want it to do. And then you'll go ahead and extrude that part out. And what that will look like, if this will show, is as such. Uh, you can kind of see um, the the face itself is a plain extrusion, just like this is. All right. So once you hit extrude, select your triangles and your face, and um, you need to hit the second window. Let me see if I can pull it up. You need to click on this icon here. It's remove material versus add material. So I mean, it's going to cancel out of it. So you want to remove material, and if you have questions from there, just let me know. Um, I can show you how to mirror. So if you just want to draw one half of your face, I can show you how to mirror it. And I can also show you how to create the, uh, get the coloring on the inside to be black, just to have some depth and contour. So that is how you create a pumpkin.